I'm Alan Lawrence of WonderTouch, and in this tutorial, I'll show you how to make a favorites library in Particle Illusion 3. With over 2,500 emitters in more than 75 libraries included with Particle Illusion 3, it's easy to lose track of where your favorite emitters are found. Let's put them into one or more favorites libraries. To start, load the blank emitter library, then right click and save as and call it Favorites 1. Now open the Library Manager. It shows the currently loaded library on the left, a list of all of the emitter libraries found in the center, and the selected center library on the right side. If the center list doesn't have all of your emitter libraries shown, you may have to add one library from each folder in order to get a complete list. Select a library from the center list, then select the emitters or folders on the right you want to move to your favorites library and click the Add button. As you can see, this adds the selected item to the current library on the left. Now repeat this for all of the other libraries. I suggest closing the Library Manager and Particle Illusion once in a while in order to make backup copies of the library you're modifying and to make sure problems don't creep in. Also, it is not a good idea to create one giant 500 emitter library. Besides being really difficult to use, the overall performance of Particle Illusion may be greatly decreased when a really large library is loaded. It's not so much the number of emitters as the amount of particle shape image data that's in the library. The best way to see this is to open the Project Settings dialog and click the Mem button. This will show the approximate amount of memory used by the project and library. Your limit may vary depending on how much RAM you have, your graphics card model, operating system, etc. But I like to keep the displayed library size below 50 megabytes or so. If you find that Particle Illusion takes a long time to load your library or becomes slow to respond, you probably have a library that's too large. In the case of one giant mega favorites library, it's probably best to create several smaller favorites libraries, perhaps organizing them by topic, smoke, sparkles, abstract, and so on. A final step after you've created all of these libraries is to close Particle Illusion and create a folder inside your Emitter Libraries folder called Favorites and move all of these libraries into it. Back in Particle Illusion, you'll now have a Favorites menu in the Quick Load Library menu. I'm Alan Lawrence of WonderTouch. Thanks for watching.